Hello, I'm Perla Jacqua. I'm a material scientist and I'm going to show you where I work. So welcome to my lab. This is a lab where I spend a lot of time looking inside materials to see what they're made of. So a regular day for me involves, after I've dropped my children off from school, come to work, have a cup of tea, have a look at my emails. Sometimes I have meetings to talk about what research we want to do maybe reading a little bit about what I'm trying to do, what questions I want to ask, planning what I'm going to do in the lab to answer those questions. I sometimes work on my own, especially when I'm doing my reading, trying to find out, answer some complicated questions that I'm trying to answer. I sometimes work with mechanical engineers, um, electrical engineers, um, sometimes I work with teachers. So I'd like to show you some equipment that I work with, one that really excites me is an x-ray microscope. This cost half a million pounds. I use it to find out what's inside materials. So there might be holes or cracks or something inside an engineering component that I need to find out. Inside there are lots of tiny little wires and I want to see if any of them are broken without opening them up. So I use the x-ray machine to look inside. I use it to look at fun things as well, like I've just looked inside an apple um, you can have a look and see. So this is, this is an apple and you can see the seeds inside it. The x-rays come out of this big thing here. They pass through the thing you want to, to take a picture of. And th this is a detector, which is a bit like a microscope. It's a teeny weeny apple. <laughs> so. So that tiny little crab apple looks like this. I can slice it up it, so I can look at all the different things and I can see it's got two pips without opening up. It was a little bit hard for me to become a scientist because I initially thought that scientists were these really super genius, clever people. I thought that I wouldn't be able to do it. But actually I found out that everyone can be a scientist and we all do science every day when we cook, that's doing science, when we draw, when we do anything, that's all science. So if you're interested in science and you want to do science, I would say be curious. Don't be shy about asking questions. Don't ever think that a question you have in your head about something is a silly question. There's no such thing as a, as a silly question in science. And the most important thing you really need to be a scientist is just to be curious and to ask questions and to be interested in why things are the way they are. If I could give advice to my younger self, I would tell her that learning is fun. Um, that's the most important thing about learning. It's fun. It's not about um, exams. It's all about just having lots of fun and finding out new things is exciting. I, I really love my job. <laughs>